trip two, day two. Got a lot to do today. Gonna check the camera from last night and see if anything came in to the camp. Make sure to check out uh, the day one video to see me installing the camera and see why we're installing the camera. Gonna have some breakfast here, roll up my sleeping bag, and then we're gonna get started on the foundation for the real dome. So, updates coming. So, I just had breakfast and just feeling unproductive up here. Everything that I want to accomplish takes twice as long to get half of it done. So I wanted to get the entire dome complete with gutters and water and all that. It's not going to happen and it took me forever. So it's definitely a struggle, but I'll get there I guess. Alright, so I got the first row lined up and now I'm just going to anchor the 4x4 um, long pieces into the metal plates. My mom got me this DeWalt uh, impact gun and it's been the most useful so far. So check the item description or check the description in the video and I'll have a link to this guy in there as well. So I have the foundation pretty much done now. I just tacked in the flooring when I was uh, nailing it in. So I'm going to have to go back and nail about every foot or so to make sure that it holds up. I know it looks a little saggy in the middle, but I'm going to get some one foot um, pieces of board and put them under there. And then the dome also, because it's a dome, it evenly distributes weight. So... When the dome's actually up there, it'll be kind of balanced on the whole platform and not just like a regular square house where all of the pressure is on the sides and the framing's in the middle. So the dome will balance it out a little bit, but I'm just going to finish nailing that up. And then I'll have an end picture and we're almost done with day two. On this trip, I got the dome put up and secured down to the bricks. I got the fourth layer of bricks up. I set up all my solar panels, got them connected so we have electricity now. I got my foundation over here framed up and I also tarped it off, I forgot to mention that earlier, but I got some tarps at Harbor Freight for like $2.99. So I tarped up that so it'll be a little more waterproof. I also got my camera installed here. And I'm going to turn it on and see if we catch anything by the next time we come up. Next time I come up, it should be my mom and I. And uh, we should be picking up the metal dome that I'm going to live in. So that'll be pretty exciting. But this is it for trip two, day two. See you next time.